For this question, we're asked to decode the following binary ASCII code. We are given the code here. I just copied the code and paste it down here. That way we can look at it individually per the, each part. For this first one, we have one zero zero and then one zero one zero. So we're going to look in the 100 column and then we are going to look in the 10, 10 row. 10, 10 row is going to be right here. So if we go across right here, we are going to have a J. For the next one, we have 110. So it's going to be in this 110 column. And then we have 1111. So we're going to go all the way down. That's going to give us an O. And then we have 110 and then 1000. So we're going to be in the same 100 column. And then we're going to look in the 1000 row. This is going to give us an H. For the next column, we're going to be in the 110 row again. I think I said 100 row, but this should this is the 110 row. We should have been looking at the past three ones. So for this one, we're going to be in the 110 row again. And then we're going to be, or column, sorry. And then we're going to be in the 1110 row. So that's going to give us an N. Next, we have 101 and then all zeros after that. Next, we have 010 and then all zeros after that. So we're going to be in this column and we're going to be in this row. And that means that we are just going to have SP, which is a space here. Next, we have 100. So we're going to be in the 100 column. And then we have 0100. And that is going to give us a capital D. Next, we have 110. So 110. And then 1111. That is going to give us an O again. Next, we have 110, 0101. So 110 is going to be this row, and then 0101 is going to be an E. So we will have an E here. That means that our ASCII code spells out John Doe. And that is how we would decode this problem.